So today I'm going to show you guys the cam shield from Tragopan, which is the protective cover for your lens. Unfortunately, I don't have one of the lenses this Tragopan has produced the covers for yet, but they will. It will be coming out. Uh, so I reached out on Instagram to anybody who might have the lens nearby and Craig from Dundee reached out to me. He's got the Nikon 200-500. So I've come here today to field right outside Dundee where I'm going to try and photograph some foxes that he usually works with here. First of all, we're going to set up the cam shield on his lens. I'll show you how to put it on and I'll talk a little bit about what it does, how it protects the gear and what it's made out of. After that, I brought some hides for us to use. We got the Mono V2 and we got the Tragopan V6 with the additional room so I can lie down and we'll put those up in the fields up here. We actually just saw a fox right up here by that pylon. So hopefully they'll be around and we can photograph them this morning. Let's put the cam shield on. And the way I like to do it is first, I'll put on this one of the silicon uh, devices that goes over the buttons, put it over the tripod collar, and they're quite stretchy, so you can kind of wrap it around and just pull it in place. And the silicon is made a little bit thinner, so you can see through here where you got your um, focus distance and you also see where it kind of sticks out a little bit for all the buttons that you got on the lens. Now, all these are made differently for each lens. So each cam shield will be a little bit different because they're all made exactly to fit the, the lens that you have. Okay, for the next one. And that goes around the tripod collar here. And again, you can, pull these quite a bit just to get them in place. And this little thing here. That fits neatly on here. Now for the main neoprene cover, you want to line that the way you're going to use it the most. So what I mean by that is there are two openings here for the focus ring. So you want to line those where you're going to be using them the most, which is most likely going to be on the left side, which you'll be shooting with your right hand. So let's just open this up. And this is the 200 500, so most likely shooting at 500, so fully extending it to 500 and putting it on that way. And what I found from doing this before is that the, the cam shield logo here, if that sits on the right side fairly straight on, that seems to be a, kind of a good spot to start out to see if that's right for you. Now the part that faces out, you can tighten quite a bit and keep it a little bit looser all the way in. And we can see here for the focus rings, we can take these off, take this one off here, this one off here, and they can come around and you can attach them so that they're out of your way and you have full access to the focus ring here on the side. So we'll put the sleeve on. This one here, as you can see on the inside here, it's got these little rubber pads that helps really just keep it in place when it's on. So again, you attach it with the Velcro. There we go. This is the Autumn Camo Cover. It also comes in different versions. We have a spring camo cover. There is a white one for the snow and it's a brown one, which is more of a kind of all purpose photography cover to protect your lens. So the neoprene foam is four millimeter thickness. It adds that extra protection for your lens. You know, sometimes we always put it down on little rocks or gather it with other gear in our car or something like that. It offers that extra bit of protection from scratches and shock. Now the edge of the neoprene is rigid, so it stays in place. 
But a cam shield itself is water repellent, so you can take some light showers, but it isn't fully waterproof. The silicon is thinner and softer where the buttons are on your lens so that you can move them through the silicon. The cam shield section that covers the main body rotates with the zoom. There's also the four millimeter EVA protection for your tripod. So if you go onto the TrackerPan website, you can put in the dimensions for the tripod that you have. So they become customly made for the tripod you have and you put them on the upper leg of the tripod. Uh, check out the instructions on the website so you get exactly which measurements you need to take. We got the cam shield on the lens and I met up with Craig here, who's kind enough to um, meet me and take me out to photograph some foxes. And we put the um, cam shield on the lens uh, what, what lens uh, do you have here? It's the Nikon 200-500 5.6. It fits fantastic, it feels excellent. It uh, feels like a quality product. Uh, it feels very good in the hand and looks like it might take a little bit of rain as well which is always handy for a wildlife photographer. But it's, uh, yeah, so far so good, it feels excellent. So you've been out and photographed boxes here yes. before, have you? Yes, this is one of my uh, special places. Brilliant, we actually just had one fox up here. Um, so Craig is quite relieved. He was a bit worried that we weren't <laughs> going to get them. <laughs> the pressure's off. Yeah, pressure's off. So we got some hides with us. We got the Mono V2 and the Tragopan V6 with the additional room. So he's suggesting that we take them up to the field up here and put them up, spend some time in there, and hopefully we'll photograph some foxes. There's a good few cam shields available already on the website, but there's even more coming towards the end of the summer. What we have coming up is the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens. We've got the Tamron 150 to 600 G2, the Nikon 500 F 5.6 PF. We've got the Canon 600 F4 Mark III, and the Canon 400 F 2.8 Mark III. Also coming up is a cam shield for the Sony 200 to 600 and the Sony 600 F4. These should be out and available on the website towards the end of the summer. In the description below you can find all the different lenses that have a cam shield available for them now and a link to where you can get them on the websites. I've also added a list for the lenses that are coming out at the end of summer. Be sure to check out photographyblinds.com if you're in the US and Canada and for the rest of the world it is tragopan-shop.com. Now unfortunately we didn't get another visit by the foxes today but I'll leave you guys with some photos that Craig has taken on a previous visit. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you next time.